All right, there we go. Hello, everyone. How's it going, team here? And this is another BXJS developer live stream. Today, we are going to be doing another one of the proposals and uh, one of the top ones. So there's actually quite a lot of proposals that are currently more or less devoted the same. But, you know, I thought I'd just pick one I like most. Uh, and uh, one of the proposals that are among the top voted ones with just two votes. So, you know, go and vote there is making a game. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and build a video game today in JavaScript, uh, not necessarily roguelike dungeon core, not necessarily using React, because this is what this repository does, uh, which I mean, you can build a game using React, because why not, but we're gonna go a bit more traditionally, I guess, and uh, use the like proper game engine, uh, just purely to save the time, you know, because if, if you use React, you will have to basically implement the game engine yourself. And I don't really want to do that because it will take a lot of time, right? So um, the idea basically, uh, okay, before we get into the whole game building part, let's talk about the idea of the game itself, right? So I actually have two ideas, uh, one of which we're, we're just going to do today. And the other one is just something I want to throw out there and want to know if you guys are interested in so I would uh, like this is, you know, a larger idea. And this is something that basically I would have to do multiple live streams, or maybe, you know, like take half a year and do a series on it. But um, yeah, so let me just talk about this large idea first, right? So I've been lately, you know, pondering on uh, making a game that would essentially teach people how to build software, right? So there is there's like one of my favorite uh, companies out there, Zachtronics, who make video games, right? So they have pretty amazing software development related video games. Let's call it this way. Um, some people are even calling programming games like Zachtronic likes now, right? Because they are so good at that and all of those games are pretty amazing. So like the Shenzhen IO and Exapunks are literally programming in assembly, right? And while they don't really teach you much uh, in terms of like, you know, you have this fat manual and you have to actually read through that, they do have this sort of narrative and world and tasks and missions that get more and more complex. So I was thinking that we could build a game like this that would basically do the same, but for JavaScript, you know, where you could actually teach people what JavaScript is starting with, you know, hey, hey, this is a variable and this is how you change it. And this is like CSS and this is HTML. And this is how you SSH into a server. And this is how you use Docker. And you know, the more in depth you game into the game, the more complex those tasks become. So this is sort of the global idea. And I think I have a vague understanding of how we can do this right in the browser. So let me know if you are interested in a series like this. Uh, but again, you know, this is the larger idea we will not be doing today It's just something I thought uh, might be fun to do. Today, we're going to be doing a bit of a simpler thing. So we're going to do, um, I think a shoot them up like arena based shooter, we're going to have a top down perspective, and we're going to shoot things. And then we're going to switch arenas whenever that's clear, probably going to implement one or two weapons and uh, one or two enemies with a very basic uh, AIs, right? In our case, it's going to be just something stupid, simple. So uh, right. Let's start by I think I'm just going to code this in code sandbox because is just simple, um, you know, like this, I think it will have enough. So we're just going to go with uh, vanilla JavaScript. I don't really need anything special in here. Uh, and uh, we're going to fork that. And I'm going to rename, can I rename that? Where's the name of it? Hell if I remember, but whatever, you know what, it doesn't even matter. So we're going to just roll with the code sandbox. And at the end of this, I'm going to export it to GitHub as usual. And uh, before we get started, where is my code actually? So I have the JavaScript permitted. So where's my there we go. Now it works. Okay. Um, so the thing that we're basically going to get started with is picking a, an engine, right? So uh, you can, of course, implement your own engine. But uh, if we want to finish this live stream within one or two hours, that means we have to use existing engine. Otherwise, we would spend like first 10 hours or maybe even more building our own engine that has like camera control, collision physics and whatever the hell you can imagine, right? Yes, uh, not the framework, but basically the engine, right? So this is the idea, uh, JavaScript game engine, let's look it up what is there right now. So yes, the phaser is one of the engines that I am familiar with and that I've used in the past, uh, like way, way, way back, like a few years ago, when we were building some uh, interactive graphics, essentially not even a video game. 
So this might be a good option because it does have basically everything you want and it also supports WebGL, uh, which is quite nice. Let's see what we have. There is, yes, Pixie.js is also quite nice. Um, yes, I am, well, it's, <laughs> uh, am I a self-taught developer? So here's the thing. I've sort of self-taught myself in the beginning and then I got the uh, degree in hardware engineering and then I went and got a PhD in computer science. So it's sort of partially self-taught, I guess. Let's put it this way. Okay, uh, let us continue exploring the engines. So we got the phaser, we got the pixie, we got the melon kiwi. Okay, uh, that is, so physics is just physics. Okay, let's just have a look at this melon. Let's have a look at the crafty stage engine, Babylon, okay, whatever. Uh, maybe I also wanna open the phaser repository. So let's check this out. I remember using pixie as well. It was quite nice, but it was more of a, you know, very low level library rather than a full full game engine. So it doesn't have any like collisions or anything as far as I remember. Maybe now it does. Again, I used it like ton, like quite a lot of time ago. It has renderers, uh, asset loading, mouse multi-dash interaction, text, bitmap support, masking filters, user plugins. Okay, I imagine with user plugins, we could probably achieve whatever we want, but I would prefer something a bit more complex. So I guess phaser would be a better option here. Um, yeah, okay, let's do phaser. So I see this melon JS thing. It's last commit 10 hours ago, phaser a day ago. So they are more or less fresh. Um, right, so um, I imagine, yeah. Let's see, melon JS, fresh lightweight HTML5 game engine. Uh, object pulling basic particle, time map system using melon. Okay, let's see the documentation. I know that phaser documentation is really good, so we don't have to basically think about that uh, because you know I think one of the most important parts when picking a library or tool to work with is the documentation, right? So if the documentation is confusing, you're basically gonna get a lot of hard time figuring out what the hell's going on. Uh, from my memory, at least, the phaser docs were pretty good and they have also had a set of really good examples. Right, okay, I mean, this doesn't seem too bad, but um, not the best way to navigate it. So, okay, let's see. Do you need a degree to be a front-end developer? I would say that you don't really need a degree to be any developer, really. It's like, uh, you know, it's just a matter of practice and, and taking your time to learn everything. It's like, unless you're doing some very hardcore scientific software development or trying to push the bleeding edge technologies, then degree won't really help you here. Um, okay. Crafty JS, so let's see. So we got, uh, yes, okay, that looks cool. Uh, where's the, uh, there we go, there's a website. Open source, cross browser, canvas DOM. So it does not support WebGL. All right, you know what? Let's just go for a phaser because phaser is nice. So news and tutorials. Um, I guess we can just jump in with uh, learn, there we go. Um, getting started, this is what we want. Getting started with phaser three. Uh, we're gonna use the latest one because why the hell not? Um, web server, wanna make games. Yes, next, we don't care about that. Windows OS X, we don't care about that. Uh, we don't care about editor either. We're gonna use code sandbox. Okay, yes, okay, next to that. Hello worlds, there we go. So we can just, uh, I guess it should be in the dependencies, right? So it's probably, published in the, yep, there we go, phaser. So we just add it over here. Uh, we got the phaser, which means we can now say import phaser from phaser, probably, I honestly don't know. And then we can do console log phaser. Is that gonna work? Here's the question, console, and then just reload this thing. Come on. Uh, I'm 19 and I know React Redux, TypeScript, Apollo, Node, Nest, GraphQL, Postgres, and I don't even in job because I'm ending school. That's normal. Like I've, uh, when I was in my, I think I started working when I was 17 at first, but it was like all freelancing because I couldn't get a permanent position simply because people were like, oh, you know, you're still like in, in the first years of university, so you cannot work full time. I was like, well, screw you, I'm just gonna freelance. <laughs> Hi everyone, any idea for the game already? Um, yeah, so the idea is we're gonna build a top-down shoot em up uh, with some basic stuff. So I'm getting started with the phaser right now. They have an example on how to do the importing uh, with like ES6 modules because I would prefer to use that. 
Okay, where's the repo? Uh, what's the input entry point? Um, to -do 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 -do, come on. Okay, main is source phaser. Source phaser. I imagine it's just like common JS or something. Phaser require point of field model experts. Okay, so it's just experts phaser. So we get the phaser instance, which means we could we should be able to just uh, take this script over here and uh, probably just uh, render the thing, right? So save that. Hey, it actually works. That <laughs> this is like you know this is kind of amazing that you could just basically do that and it actually works. So let's see what it actually does. So we got the type I imagine is the engine type or renderer type is phaser auto, which means it's gonna detect either it's canvas or WebGL automatically. It's gonna say 800 by 600. Let's make it a bit smaller so it fits on here. Let's make it 600 by 400. Uh, it's still a bit too large it seems, um, 500. There we go. Okay, that looks nicer. Uh, physics, arcade, gravity, Y20. Uh, yeah, sure, that's for now is fine. So we got the preload function and we got the create function. Uh, we're probably gonna abstract that into a separate uh, files to make it nicer. So we got some assets, but it doesn't seem like it's actually loaded everything. At least not completely. Logo, red, sky. There's like errors or something. Phaser. Okay, so it does. It did load the engine itself. So let me open the console. Did my JavaScript blocked? No, it doesn't block anything. So um, I guess I'll pop up the console completely so we have more space. Mixed contents. Uh, oh, because it's HTTP. Uh, can I add HTTPS? Do they have HTTPS? Yes. There we go. Okay. That. <laughs> now it looks proper. Okay. Good. Um, we got it. Okay. So add the image. Sky, so this is the create function that basically creates the scene, I guess, right? All right, so we're not gonna use any images, I guess. We don't really care about that. So I guess we don't really need preload in this case, right? So this is our game and uh, particle effects. We don't really need particle emitters yet. And emitter start follow, we don't care about that. Okay, so we got this thing, we got bounds, we don't care about bounds, that collide world boundaries. Okay, so we can, okay, we don't care about that as well. So we just create our, um... oh, what? Yeah, there you go, okay. So just save that, right? So we now have this nice empty canvas, basically. Okay, um, config, yeah, that's that looks fine. So it's gonna say, let's just rename it to const to make it a bit more, um, can I no, there's no F2. Like one thing that I miss in literally every other editor is the um symbol renaming that you have in VS Code where you can just hit F2 and rename it. So we are gonna call it game or I guess engine config is the what? Nope, nope come on. Engine config would be the better name, right? So I'm gonna do that and um in this case, whoops, that's gonna break everything. Um, no, come on. There you go. So this is gonna be scene create. And now we're gonna uh, create scene JS, right? And we're gonna export defaults. This is gonna be our create function, which for now is not gonna do anything. So we're gonna import create from um create scene exactly and now we should get an uh, whoops nice black scene i said control s not save this to the desktop there we go okay we got the basic going um now let us i guess um so this is the yes this we figured out this bit online phaser examples phaser repository so now we need the api docs and maybe having examples is good as well why not so now that we created the thing, let's maybe draw, I don't know, let's draw a player, I guess, right? Let's start with a player. So we're gonna create a, play, oh, not here, we're gonna create a player over here. So we're gonna create a player JS and um, it's gonna be export default class player. And for now it's just gonna be class player, right? And class player, no. <laughs> class player, we're gonna have a constructor here and I'm guessing we're gonna extend 
So what do we have here? We have phase, no, we need uh, phaser C, yes. Phaser three docs will be online soon for now. Okay, so we need the actually the docs on the GitHub. There we go. That looks nice. Um, API docs, there we go. This is what we want. Um, come on. API documentation. Okay, there we go. Uh, phase of three docs. Okay, so it's literally just the repo for now. Well, that's a bit of a bummer, but okay, we can work with this. So, meter phaser. Uh, wait, do I for real? Like, is it published on npm at least? Uh, phaser three docs. Okay, let's see. Unpackage. Um, phaser three docs. Is that no? It's not published on npm, which makes it even more um, I mean, slightly annoying. Go to here and read the docs online. Okay. Um, cameras, game objects. Okay, this is not very not as nice as their previous documentation, but we can work with that. So let's see. We want game objects, I guess. Right? Is that what we want? Um, you know what? Okay. You know what? <laughs> Wait a second. Let's start with. Um, Documentation version two, where do I get? Okay, let's three open here, phaser JS. Um, there's my old dogs, please. Because I imagine they didn't change that much between the, uh, you know, previous version and the new version. It's probably some breaking changes, but not too many drastic architecture changes. So game objects, game object factory, game object creator, helper class that create any game phaser objects and add them to game world, display, sprite. Okay, so I guess we want the sprite. Now here's the question. Is there a sprite over here? Mm, sound sprite. Yes, there we go. There's a phaser game object sprite. So I guess we could say that our player extends and we actually need to import phaser from phaser, right? And it's going to extend phaser um, game object. What was it? Game objects dot sprite. Yeah, dot right okay so we got this constructor thing i guess we want to call super first because we inherit stuff and uh new sprite this uh okay scene x y texture so this is how you initialize it they have examples for the version 3 already uh display filters loaders there's like sprite example ah, there we go there was a sprites there we go Okay, add a sprite. Perfect. Uh, is this a version three example? Version two, version two nine? No, it's just a version two example. Ugh. Okay, here's the question. Do they have version? Okay, <laughs> like this whole version migration thing is slightly annoying, but I guess we can't really do. There we go. Phaser three examples. This is what we want. So I guess we're going to stick to this. Public. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, iframe spine source. Is that where you live? Come on. Animation duh, 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 sp sp game game objects. I guess this is what we want, and we got sprites. Create from config a uh, single sprite. Okay, so uh, this load bunny. No, this is from image. Can I have a um, sprite from? There we go. This is what we want. Super scene X Y. Okay, so we got this scene X Y thing that we basically have to pass in, right? So then this set texture brain set position. All right, uh, here's the question. Can, what do you pass to set texture? Where's the set texture method? Set texture E. Okay, so I guess you have to define texture first, which means uh, like the question is how the hell do I do that? Load image. Uh, okay, so I guess this is the loader thing. Here's the question. I mean, we could probably just use existing sprites because why not? Um, let me think. So we want a preload method then and we want some images. I guess that makes sense. So let's call it player. Let's just leave it at that for now and uh, create scene. And we got the webs not here. We want it here, right? Uh, Preloads JS. Okay, export defaults. There we go. Uh, it actually should be a function, right? So it should not be arrow function because it will bind the context. Okay, uh, this load image. So we're gonna load image. Um, I mean, might as well add images to the project because why not, right? So uh, we might as well create a folder assets and 
upload a file so we need to find like a player sprites player sprite free there is more than one library that basically gives a yeah open game art was one of them that gives you a free sprites for anything they're like a way to filter top down uh, browse to the arts um to the art cc by okay the license i don't really care for now uh, let's see tag is one of character yeah, wait, yeah, top down right so this is what we want come on search uh no oh, oh comma separated right okay top down is that a thing come on This is not a very hard query, but uh, right, uh, that does not look like a top-down character. I mean, there's, oh yeah, there we go, animated top-down character. We could, uh, we could just use this sprite thing. What's the license for this is auto community, blah, blah, blah. Operator attribution, uh, where's the license? How do I know what the license is? Ah, there you go, CC by three. Okay, that sounds normal. Um, yeah, I guess it's just, oh, this is literally GIF. This is static image. That's static or a GIF. Okay, this is too confusing. I mean, we can also use like a tile, like sprite sheet as well. I don't know. That is tiny as hell. Uh, okay, character, maybe just character top. Would that work better? That does not work too much They're much better but there is a lot of pages here so oh, we're spending too much time on that um okay here's the question phaser a second phaser uh custom okay i guess draw texture is that is that a thing can i just draw like a circle you just say it's a circle maybe wait a second maybe there is a way to just use a simple so maybe we don't want sprites maybe, there we go shapes let's just make it a shape circle simple right then i'm gonna have to think about graphics because that takes way too long okay so we are this odd circle uh can i inherit circle i don't want to add it but um and if, if we do it this way, then this would mean that basically we have to keep this reference somewhere. So I would prefer, I mean, we have to keep it anyway, but I would prefer it to be like a proper class. Uh, circle band modes, arc, uh, easel line, polygon, rectangle, stacker, star, triangle. So they all work in more or less the same way, right? Yeah, okay. I guess I mean yeah sure why not we can we can do it we can work with that why not let's try to do it this way so preload we don't care creates right so we got this odd circle right okay so uh, we don't care about the preload anymore actually let me just keep it for now um, so player then is gonna be a function right that um, scene that uh, takes in a scene in this case is going to be this and adds a circle const player adds a circle so we don't need phaser here anymore and so we don't care about this we need um actually a create scene should also be a normal function i don't know if we would need that but you know what i'm just going to keep it here for now Okay, close this, close this. Um, we're gonna import, it's gonna be create player from, and we actually need to import it into create scene, right? Because this is gonna be set up during the scene creation. And uh, we're gonna call create player this. So, okay, cool. So we now got this circle, but uh, let's make it a bit smaller because this is a very large, uh, oh, this is coordinates. 200 200 is nice uh yep and then the size would be 20 yep that looks or maybe even 10. okay um that seems fine now how does the phaser handle interactions now uh camera we don't care so we're gonna have like one tiny arena essentially input this is what we want keyboard is going to be the first input right i add key uh, using strings so we have phaser game config creates this draw keyboard no we don't care about this draw keyboard 
this is, I guess, what we want, uh, draw keyboard update. Okay, so we have the update method and we have to set up the listeners. Okay, so we, well, the RPML was creating a file in the wrong place, update.js. So this is gonna be our export function, um, export default function, right? Uh, it's gonna be our update function and uh, in here we're gonna say import update from updates right and uh, na, 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 updates there we go all right so we got the update function now but before we are updating we have to actually set up those things he is down so you need to keep those references which means that we have uh, okay, so I guess we will create like a key, or I guess let's call it input manager, right? JS. And this is gonna be basically, uh, so we're gonna, first of all, gonna import phaser from phaser because we need those references to the keys. So we are gonna do what? We are gonna have our class input manager right constructor is just I, I don't even know if we need construct i guess we don't need constructor right we have the constructor the constructor will create uh this is not actually what we want we want what we want a set of keys that are gonna be mapped to uh so this is the mapping we want right and then we want to call this keyboard this input keyboard adds in the creator uh, the creator function, and then we want to handle the updates. So, right, um, because these keys is gonna be an array, which will hold the name, right? So it's gonna be A, and I'm gonna call the value, which is gonna be this phaser. Okay, so this looks reasonable, I think name is gonna be five uh, we actually need wsd here right so w and this is gonna be w value okay um ta -da -da. no w a s d there we go. w a s we don't care about spacebar for now this is gonna be closed w a s d and then s d here so we did that we created this so next thing we need to say const input manager instance right so we create a new instance for input manager and then we're gonna export uh, two functions setup which is gonna be a function that just takes in uh, scene again, right? Or I guess it's not exactly a scene, right? It's more the game instance, but what? Like, yeah, no, it's got game, right? And uh, it's just gonna do uh, exactly the what we executed here. So game input keyboard art key, and uh, basically we just say input manager instance set up listeners let's go this way game right so this is what we want to do i guess we can just make it one liner there we go okay and uh set up listeners game and uh, then we just say this keys for each um key value or i guess we could just destruct it that would work as well name value I, do we care about name at all? Like, what, what do you pass in here? You literally just passed, oh, okay. So we need the name to get the reference. It's gonna be a value and this, oh, okay. This bindings are gonna be this, right? And then we're gonna say this bindings are from name is gonna equal game inputs. Yes, okay. So this should attach the keys, right? Uh, let's you know what let's call it setup listeners as well just to be consistent and then we need the second function um and the update uh it's gonna be game no why don't we don't do, we don't probably don't even need uh game reference this right handle update so this is just basically gonna be this okay handle update and we are 
so we got yeah so if the key is down then we're going to do something okay um what we actually also need is to make things react to those keys so we're going to extend this a bit uh, in a few minutes i guess okay now where's my rendering actually is there like errors or something where's my there should be a thing rendered right update uh there we go okay now we need to do what we need to first of all register the keys in the create okay so we go to create scene we import from uh, input map do you reset it it's weirdly resets the focus from time to time from editor so i can't actually edit anything um so we need what was the name of it uh, setup listeners right so we need setup listeners and we say setup damn it stop it this is what we want cannot set property w of undefined okay where did i screw up this bindings name oh i <laughs> this is a typo there we go okay so we set up the keys and now that we handle the update let's just console log um i guess come on stop resetting my focus these keys map i guess for each would make more sense um ta -da -da, console log uh no we don't want no we want actually bindings right so for each binding uh it's gonna be it's actually object so we need object keys here for each this is gonna be key and in console log we're gonna say key this bindings bindings from key is down right and now we need to hand uh, to call the handle update in the our update function actually so we're gonna why do you lose the focus all the time this is getting slightly annoying uh input manager there a way to say that please don't lose focus anymore because this is getting slightly annoying handle update there you go okay so in theory it doesn't call update why doesn't it call update do we have the update function here yes we do what am i missing so we got to draw keyboard whatever uh, update keys down console log a b so update is added here extend we don't care preload creates yes we did that so what do you not why doesn't it log anything or maybe it's just uh well are we working now maybe it just logs it here oh yeah oh yeah okay i know why it lags uh right okay so that's probably a terrible idea to do it this way <laughs> so we are gonna say um if then console log right so this is um this is what i actually want what what do you not like again Oh, because it's an arrow function and I screwed up this formatting. There we go. So this should do it. Um, you still get not refreshed. Okay, there we go. So now theoretically, we press W. Yeah, okay. So we got the D and we got the uh, value. So now we handle the key presses right so what do we need to do we need the player to actually move so we actually need to extend or i guess uh change the player so wait a second so we create the player right so this is our main function and i guess we need to actually change the player now so to say you have the create player thing so okay let's just say const player is basically null for now right and then we have export const create player which is this function and it should actually use this uh i mean it should be let of course that should not be const okay so now we have this player uh, export const update player 
position, I guess, right? Um, gonna be arrow function x. No, I guess velocity x and velocity y, right? Uh, now here's the question: Does does uh, phaser probably has some sort of a velocity thing going, right? So let me see. Key down. Play cursor keys. Uh, noun pad. Okay, so it's probably not here. Dragging camera physics. Can we just say arcade? Okay. Um, angular velocity. Perfect. Uh, angular velocity five. Angular drag five. Bloom uh, set velocity. Okay, so you can literally just say set velocity. Uh, okay. Here's the question. Can it just be like player set velocity? Stop resetting my focus velocity x. Damn it. Okay, create scene. We got this. We got this. Now, when we update, depending on the key, we need to set the velocity to the uh, thing. So, velo. Oh boy. Okay. Velocity x is. Uh, w is what? Velocity x is going to be zero. Velocity y is gonna be up so it's gonna be minus one actually right but minus one okay so we just copy this just copy the whole thing and then i'm gonna be okay a is gonna be velocity one because it's gonna go down s is gonna be velocity no wait i'm screwing it up s is velocity one and a is we're going left which means it's gonna be minus one over here could you please stop resetting my focus bloody hell okay maybe it was a mistake doing it in the code sandbox but uh migrating to something else would take a lot more time now okay so now this thing has to basically integrate with um, player or trigger the player updates which means that we have to say okay imports um i guess we'll just import player but i'm not sure if i'm like this is the best way to lay out code but you know what we're gonna roll with it is probably should work I'm gonna say update player position <sighs> bindings no but not bindings right so we actually need to find the this uh keys find so we need to find the key i guess we could destruct saying name so that an the losing of a focus is just insane can i just close the browser for now there you go much better okay so we find the name by the name right so we search for the thing so that the name is equal to key const current key right which means that we can then update uh, position with current key velocity x, current key velocity y. Okay, here's the question. Will that actually work? Player set velocity is not a function. Okay, so you cannot set velocity on a circle, I guess. That is slightly disappointing. Oh, you need a physics group. Okay. Um, create block all right so we actually cannot just have player so we need a proper like physics group okay i guess let's create a group and add a player to that so um right so let's say okay i have to close this because otherwise i cannot just work properly so we got physics group gonna be null and we're gonna initialize it over here Let's say physics group is going to be this. Okay, scene physics group add. Um, yes, so we don't. Yeah, why not? Let's just leave it at this. And then I guess we are going to say physics group add circle. Is that going to work? Is that a way to do that? Uh, physics group add circle is not a function. So how do you group create? Okay, so is there a physics group? Where's the physics group? Physics group, uh, physics matter impact arcade group. 
Right, so what are what are the methods? Add child, add to scene. Uh, okay, so how do I add a circle to a physics group? Add multiple, create from callback, create multiple, get children. So what, what did they call there? There was like create block. Okay, so what is the block? Block is the image, okay. So, um, <laughs> Uh, okay, so can I just say that player is gonna be seen at circle and then we're gonna say physics group. What was the physics group thing? Create set velocity. So can I just add to, yeah, okay. I can just say add and then say player, right? So this should work. Hey, there we go. Um, the window for whatever reason is super tiny. I don't know what is going on here. Can I just maybe resize it to make it? There we go. No. Is it gonna be this tiny now? Pick open the console, close the console. Nope, still tiny. Um, Dr. Wright. Ah, there we go. Okay. Whoops. And players. Okay, so we need instead of player, we now need to reference the physics group in here, right? Um, okay, I guess one velocity is too little. So we're gonna tweak that and say, okay, uh, let's make a constant from that. So we're gonna be direction velocity and let's make it, what was the default one here right now? Uh, it is angular velocity 60. Okay, let's put it to 60, I guess, why not? We're gonna say this, 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 I guess we don't actually need the gravitation, right? Okay, so yeah, we're moving left, right, up, down. Now the only problem is that we have gravitation enabled, which we don't really need. Angular drag, angular velocity, drag x, drag y. So what is exactly each angular speed of 60 degrees? So I guess we just say this, right? No, it's still drag. Why does it have physics enabled? Physics group. Oh boy, okay, uh, bounce x, bounce. so this is fine, angular drag fine, this is fine, collide, collide is okay, drag x, drag y is fine. Gravity, right, so we have, do I have actually gravity enabled? I don't remember if I said anything there. I do have gravity y, so we, have, we don't have any gravity, right? There we go, and now we should be able to move, okay. Uh, and I am now handling only one key press, so I can only move up, down, left, right, which is, not perfect for top-down shooter, right? So we actually have to rewrite our manager to say, okay, for each, this binding is key down. Okay, so we actually need to, the update velocity should not, uh, we can close this, we can close this. Update velocity should not set velocity, but actually um, add to the current velocity, right? So let's uh i don't know is there like a way to get current velocity physics group uh duh, 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 let me see physics group is there this is a physics group right yep yeah. let's see velocity get and duh, 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 set velocity set velocity set velocity y and i get length get last get first um destroy how do i get velocity Walt scene physics type max settings okay do I have to store it myself? Okay, here's the question. If I just console log this stuff, will it actually show me what I need to do? Physics group, there we go. Okay, um, where's my dev tools? And just press down. So this is an object. And uh, do we have any velocity storage? We have the defaults, but this is not what we want. We have the children. Um, it doesn't re so we have to store velocity ourselves, which is a bit annoying, but okay, you know what? We can do that. Let's uh, player, uh, I guess, velocity and it's gonna be like x is gonna be zero, y is gonna be zero, right? Uh, I guess we can also make it const in this case. So, right, and it's basically gonna be const velocity is going to be x is going to be velocity x plus velocity x and y is going to be velocity y but God damn it this 
Okay, yeah, now I know that live coding in this thing is not exactly perfect. Uh, and uh, probably call this new velocity since shadowing variable names is not very good. Okay, and we also need to update. Um, also need, well, actually, yeah, we actually can just update the existing stuff, right? So we can say velocity x equals this, velocity y equals this. So we just literally uh, add velocity to them. And yes, then we have to change this. No, this is not what I wanted to press. Let me edit the thing. Stop refreshing the bloody page. There we go. Okay. And um, why won't you work? Okay, it just stopped moving. Why? So zero, zero, right? Oh, right, because I'm an idiot and I should not use capital letters over here because they will be null all the time. Whoa, okay. Well, at least now we can move all directions, but <laughs> really, really fast. Okay, let's, let's decrease this value to 10. Uh, that is even faster. One. No, that doesn't seem correct. Come on, reload the damn thing. Okay, there we go. One is a bit too slow, so 10 was probably fine, but it also seems like Code Sandbox doesn't really refresh properly, so you have to like force reload that. There we go. Okay, that is, feels very weird, but uh, hey, it moves. Um, yeah, I guess maybe, maybe we can play more with those values to figure it out later, but you know what is fine for now. So we got this thing going. So now we need to implement shooting, right? So I guess we need the mouse inputs. There was a mouse, uh, inputs sample somewhere here. We got the mouse inputs and, uh, click sprite, click hit. Okay. So is there like right mouse button um mouse down this is what we want right so this input on pointer down so this is what we want to use and essentially where's our input manager so we're gonna set up this thing pointer down function pointer pointer so we got pointer x and pointer y now that you don't have logo on uh so we're gonna take x and y from the pointer um ta -da 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 -da. this game um this is not this this should be game All right so we add uh mouse clicks and it's gonna be yes uh this is basically gonna be handle keyboard input so time to add some comments okay so let's see does it actually work console log Mouse click at uh, damn it. this is like the the fact that it loses the input is so infuriating. You cannot imagine. Where's my there? There's dev tools. Okay, so it actually yeah, it it works. It works fine. Now, so we got the mouse click. Now we actually have to make the player shoot something in it, right? So. I guess first of all we have to uh, have to know the current x and y of the player. I I guess that should be easy as just saying hey. Okay, so first of all const uh, shoot, and it's gonna be x and y. So basically shoot towards x and y, right? Let's turn this off. This is this is literally infuriating. Okay, let's see. Console log um, player x and y. So let me just do that. And then in input manager where we have, okay, we got uh, shoot. And literally whenever this is clicked, we're just going to be shoot x, y, right? And I can actually, I can actually just do this. Yeah, right. Um, we can maybe even just say shoot because we don't really care about the other stuff 
but we will have to destruct the stuff here. So we got this shoot towards x, y. Here's the question. Does that actually work? Why is my dev tools not showing up there? Oh, because they are a completely different window. Okay. Okay, so we got the coordinates. Can we get the current coordinates of the player? Yes, we can. X and Y. So we need um okay. On uh, player X. Uh, let me just close this. And it's gonna be yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use destructing. X is gonna be player X, Y is gonna be player Y. I'm gonna get it from player. And now we got the X, uh, oh man, I'm so bad with, ge like this is one of the bits of the game development that I always get stuck on because I'm terrible with geometry and I don't remember anything. So basically what we need to do is we need to build the vector, right? From the current X, uh, player X and player Y to the X and Y there, which means, um, actually, can we, I wonder, can you use a particle emitter to be like a gun? Does particle have collisions? So wait a second. So they have physics, uh, matter impact. Oh, they have arcade physics, right? Is there like particle emitter here? Uh, move collider, simple zone, sprite, static. Uh, I guess particle emitter would not be part of, of the physics, right? I guess. Mm, game objects, Dash sprite, test, render tag, particle emitter. Okay. But I guess you should be able to add particle emitter to the uh to the physics group right and then they should uh, should be able to assign particles some physics at least this one okay wait a second phaser is just particle emitter collision can you do that is that a thing examples when particles collide yes you can okay cool this is literally what we want okay perfect so you can do that uh, please wait while we're loading source. Okay, I guess you just want JavaScript. All right, cool. So you can do that. Uh, I'm guessing game add emitter. So we need, first of all, we need to add the basic emitter. So I'm gonna use particle emitter as our gun because you know I don't really wanna implement it from scratch. That's gonna take a lot of time. Uh, oh yeah, this collide emitter bound size. Okay, so we got the collide emitter here. Um, angle emitter, this is what we want, right? So this odd particle flares, and in this case, they use the flares JSON. Uh, like, I don't know, can we just use flares? Why, uh, probably not, but okay, this odd particles. So here's the question, how does particles, particles, particle, particle, yes. Um, what was the example, this odd particles. So this, this is the world's, Mm, can you add particle without the sprite, but with like geometry? Is that, is that a thing that's possible? So they have like create emitter. So this again uses the sprite, custom particles. Uh, this is particle part, animated particle. This is literally overriding the cloud, but they are still using the sprite for it. Particle. Emit from manager and mid from shape. Yes, first of all, we need that. Okay, let me just open that. We need angular emitter and gravity well, frame cycle, follow sprite, move to, well, we need follow sprite as well, right? Because we wanna shoot from this specific object. Particles, random emit zone. I need, oh, ten, oh no. And it is not what we want. Random emit zone particles on a path. Yes, we want that. Parallax, multiple emitters, no. Move to mouse trail. Uh, move to sounds like a good idea. Fireworks. Again, they are using the sprites. Ugh, God, come on, fireball. I guess we could just take the assets as well because yeah, otherwise it seems like we're gonna spend more time figuring out how exactly to render it with like simple. Um, so okay, we need assets. What was it again? Particles, flares, particles, flares. There's JSON and flares PNG. So let me download this. We raw this thing and we're gonna save this here. We're gonna save this here. And 
um, assets. So I'm going to upload the file. I'm going to upload flares things. There we go. Okay, cool. So um, let me think for a second. So we need to load. So we need to preload the flares, right? So we're going to take this and take our preload function and say, hey, load the flares. Uh, not without particles, right? So we're going to just load the flares here. Uh, technically, that should work. Right. And uh, player X or Y. Right. Let's see. So do we get any errors? Does it did it preload everything correctly? Seems like it did. Okay, cool. So we're still moving. We're still okay. Now, uh, clicking, clicking works. Uh, does clicking work? Did it? Yeah, it works. Okay, cool. I guess we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna round it later on. Okay, that's fine. So, okay, uh, let's see. So we create a particle emitter, right? So this is gonna be the particle emitter and this is gonna be our gun essentially. So let's call it, so let's gun, right? So we're gonna call it now for now. And then here we're gonna say gun is gonna be a Particles created by where this particle comes from. Uh, this odd part. Okay, so this is what we want. So uh, particles. This add. So not this, but it's going to be seen add flares, right? Okay, so we are x y move to. Okay, so you got. I guess do we have to create this emitter on every? click okay let me save this and let's see what happens i'm guessing this is basically a time limited emitter uh emit zone source players want this source get random point what is not a function um uh, with random zone get point get random point is not a function Okay, so what do you not like right now? Laser geometry rectangle. Uh, we've player is circle, but it's not geometry, right? But it still should emit it from there. Frequency, quantity, scale, lifespan. Why? Okay, let's try. Let's try the original source code and see if that works. And if that works, then we're gonna figure out how do we make it work with. God, damn it, stop losing the focus, wrecked. Uh, we don't have the phaser here. Okay, import phaser from phaser, right? Uh, can read property half width of undefined. Wait, wait, what? Okay, uh, 100 by 100. Where does this come from? This is like super tiny and I can project view open a new window. Let's see. Can I get a particle emitter, particle web gel emitter, uh, screen is visible, step, step, game, step, scene manager system. Can I read half width of undefined? I guess, is this an outdated example? Is that the problem? This is always slightly confusing. Okay, frame cycle true quantity two. Oh, did it actually load the resources? Let's see. So we got the network tab and uh, did we load our assets? Assets is, this is like super old. Okay, uh, reload, right? So, no, okay. So it doesn't seem to load assets. Is that the problem? Mm, here's the question. Can I actually access those assets from the code sandbox? So if I go assets, um, flares, PNG, was it right? No, it is. Okay, it's accessible. So fine. Flares, PNG, right? Okay, cool. So that should work. Preload, we got this load. Uh, yes, assets, flares, PNG, and flares, JSON. So that should work. Problem one. Yeah, I figured that out that we have this problem. Um, here's the question. Do I have the, oh, I, pfft, right, okay. 
That explains it. I forgot to include the preload into our um, game object preload. There we go. Um, a pre uh, typo. Okay, cool. Hey, there we go. <laughs> that is slightly over the top, but it works. Okay, so here's the next question. If I say the source is now player, does it actually work? No. Okay, so it wants the geometry, which means... Uh, right, can we get the geometry from the player somehow? Uh, let me just say player over here and see if we can access geometry in some way. Um, da -da -da -da. Right, okay, so we had the arc, which is, I guess, not geometry. Is it documentation? So what is the arc? Is that... It's a game object. Okay, can we access the geometry from that? Type arc, scene path data. No, that doesn't seem correct. Geom, okay, so we can just say, uh, I guess, player.geom. That should basically make it work. Player. Come on, geom. Um, okay. Hey, okay, it's working. Which means uh, lifespan. So I guess if I set lifespan to 10, it's just gonna, yeah, okay. Let's make it X and Y is gonna be zero. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, lifespan tw 20, what, what's the lifespan is like milliseconds or something? Frequency, uh, frequency is gonna be, I don't know, one and move to x y 600 400 scale 0 0.1 so let's make them smaller right 0 0.2 quantity one so it's going to be like one shotgun right okay that looks better frequency um i mean 60 is basically more so we actually want one blend mode adds that is fine Okay, so what we actually want, um, right, so we, first of all, we need those particles, right? Let particles, we need them globally because we have to, or like at least in this module, because we have to create this gun emitter every time um, the user clicks. So essentially here, x and y is going to be player x and player y right and move two is going to be x and y okay so theoretically uh kind of <laughs> what that just got crazy okay so here's the question what kind of parameters can we pass into the particles so that they are look more like a gun scale oh there we go so this is disappearing particles this is exactly what we want right so we're going to do this uh whoops that is not what i wanted to do right so now yes that looks better now i guess we could just say like this okay Yes, okay, now here's the question. Now is the blend mode add, mid zone. So mid zone is fine, this stuff we have there. Now what we wanna do is we want to set the intervals, right? And speed, there's also a speed parameter. So I guess we could set it to like 10 maybe, let's try that. Mm, that doesn't seem to be correct. Uh, lifespan. Okay, so lifespan, this looks more like a gun now. Kinda. Very, oh, you know what we can do? We can actually change it around. So right at the end, it should be the bigger than at the start. So then it looked like, yeah, there we go. That looks better. Okay, so maybe if we um, change the frequency quantity to four, frequency to say 10, Okay, that looks slightly better. Right, so now the thing is that it has to be short-lived, right? So we should shoot it out first and then it should disappear after some time. And you can also add particle emitter to the start follow, okay. 
uh, we don't really need it to follow. So we're just gonna shoot it once and it should disappear. Angle emitter, angle, gravity, scale, quantity, speed, min, max. Okay, here's an interesting thing. What does this actually do? You can actually speed a uh, min and max speed. Oh, so it like accelerates. That's interesting. It seems to be working. Okay. Um, right, emit from shape. So we did that. We have this thing working. Let's see what other examples on a particle emitter they have here. Uh, death stone, digital rain, double acceleration, edge stone, electric, mid from manager, explode test, fireballs, fireworks, follow sprite, gravity well, mouse trail. That sounds like maybe what we want. We got X, Y, speed, angle, scale, alpha, uh, gravity, lifespan one. Is it lifespan what we want or wait, why did I close the thing? One player, right? So lifespan, we got a hundred. No, that's like one. Oh yeah, because on one is basically going to disappear immediately, right? So we actually want like hundred, I guess it's hundred milliseconds. Uh, spark reserve thousands. So you can reserve a specific number of particles, gravity, blend mode screen active and you have the active thing so we can basically say done and then uh, here's the question so if I just say set timeout right so let's just try this out if I says set timeout gun active false after like uh, 500 milliseconds will that disappear is the question no, it just, it just literally stops. God damn it. Um, right. Well, I mean, it's good enough. Um, I guess this actually means that we can, can generate the gun here, right? And it's just going to be X, Y, and it's going to be moved to like zero, zero as well. So I'll just do this. Okay, uh, move to XY. Okay, this is all good. Active false, right? It's gonna do that. So it's gonna be disabled. And basically, once it comes down, we're gonna say gun. That, no, if true. And we also need to say follow player, whatever was it? Um, it wasn't here, it was over here somewhere, right? Particle emitter, follow, 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 uh, particle, what was the thing? Move to center, mouse trail, emitter from texture, from shape. What was it, the thing that I, I opened it, it was some move, no, move to is the other thing, right? Particles on moving curve, on a path, random emit, scale emitter, step lifespan, step position, step speed. Uh, emit from shape, was it? Come on, create a meter, collide, Christmas, change, angle, acceleration. I know this is like emit zones. It can emit from multiple positions. Actually, that's interesting. Okay, um, no, this is not what we want. Create a meter from config, custom patches, death stone, digital rain. Okay, am I blind? Like, I remember it was somewhere here. Follow sprite. There we go. This is what we want. And uh, we want emitter start follow sprite two. So I guess we want to say start flow. Yeah, let's start. Uh, so this is gonna be, oh, come on. Um, player. Okay. Right, that looks fine. But basically now we need to, uh, first of all, stop it from emitting at some point and then hide everything. Can you just say like, where's the documentation? So we need emitter, article emitter, um, acceleration, active alpha. I mean, we can say, we can just set alpha to zero probably. Here's the, I mean, we, let's, try, let's try doing that. This is like the stupidest solution, but it's probably gonna work. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then gun alpha zero, right? 
Nope, that does not work. Okay, that's, uh, I guess, is it just together? Like, can we set it? Frequency mask move to on, um, can we say off maybe? Will you work? Nope. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> it was on false, not off. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, so I guess we just say on false here and then we just do on true, right? Okay. So now it's shooting. Yeah, sort of a bullet. Like it's basically it's, this has got to be bullets, right? So I, I'm just wanting. I just want to use the particle emitter as the bullets themselves. Okay, so now we need to say that it has to move to. Uh, not gun. Move to ah, god damn it. Move to X is gonna be X, and we don't actually care anymore about. Uh, player coordinates here right because now the game engine will handle this for us okay so theoretically now nope okay well at least it sticks to <laughs> this this come out is a nice effect but <laughs> not quite what i want okay so why does not it's why doesn't it set the move to x and y properly can you not set it from the external Okay, so we got X and Y, emit explodes, emit particle, emit particle adds. Oh, so we can actually literally, wait a second. Can we, can we just do this? Gun emit particle adds, right? X and, <laughs> Man, why, why do you have to be like this code sandbox? Okay, emit particle add x, y. Was it like this? Uh, I guess we don't care about those dogs. X, y count. Okay, and we emit like three particles, right? If that's gonna work, it's gonna be pretty cool. So we literally can build a gun from the particle emissions. Uh, oh, emit particle add meaning at the point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, get alive on particle death on particle emit set alpha set bounce that death zone set emit zone that gravity set position set scale so you set the move to move to uh move to x y okay so i guess maybe because the move to is false is that the case gun move to x x gun move Y, god damn it. Y, Y, gun, move to true. Is that what you want? Nope, that doesn't help much. Hmm. Okay, here's the question. If I do it this way, bleh, move to X on emit is not a function. Uh, is the gun the particle effect? If so, you are telling it. Yes, I am telling it. Yes, the gun is supposed to be the particle effect. I'm telling it to follow the player, but I want it to emit to a specific point. Like, you know, whenever I click, that should be the direction it shoots to. Um, emit, move to center. Move to center. What does this mean? Um, you can do both. Oh, no. Okay, I see. That is slightly annoying, but we can work around that. So I guess I do need... Um, player X and Y, player Y. It's kind of disappointing that you cannot do both. I was hoping the engine would just follow. I mean, you literally just emit from one point to another, right? So gun X is gonna be player X and gun Y is gonna be player Y. Uh, or X on emit, what are you? X on emit is not a function. What do you want? Uh, can I just not set the coordinates? Is it just together? Uh, the coordinate of the particle is just together. Am I trying to override together? You are telling the engine to make the emitter move to two positions at the same time. Uh, is that how it works? Because I thought the X and Y is the current position and move to X and move to Y is where the particles should go. Because this is how it works. If we like, if we remove this, right? And if we just say, okay, on true, 
and you say, okay, we have X and Y at zero and we move to 200, 200, then you will see the particles emitting from zero to 200, right? So this is sort of my reasoning. This is exactly what I wanna do. So now fighting with particle emitter, it might've been easier to just code my own gun, which, <laughs> which is kind of amusing because I wanted to take a shortcut and just use particles as the bullets essentially. Okay then, um, apparently that's not the easy way. So I guess let's just code our own gun. Um, right. Okay, uh, let me think about that. Yeah, let's, let's do a gun. Gun JS, why not? Let's code a gun, we can code a gun. Okay, let me think. Create, so uh, do we need a phaser here? Probably not. Okay, export const create gun. And uh, it's gonna be seen, right? So we are, we don't need that anymore. Set of particles, we're gonna kill that. And I guess player is gonna manage the, we don't care about the gun. Yes, so we are, whoop, hit code sandbox, stop doing that. Import, uh, create gun from gun, right? Okay, so let's just do a very stupid and simple gun, right? scene and uh, we're gonna say gun equals create gun so it's just gonna return that okay and um, we're just gonna command all of this stuff so what do we want we're gonna say scene uh, i guess we can just use circles as well because why the hell not and we also need the physics group um right so i guess again i'm just gonna use the basic like geometry shapes for the gun there's gonna um, bullets, um, da, 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 physics group. Okay, uh, not, not what I wanted. Um, oh God, reaching the wrong tabs. Okay, so we get create the physics group, angular drag. Yeah, that seems fine. We are, yeah, well, why not? Let's bounce, why not? Okay, bullets, add circles. So it's gonna be like small circles. Let's just make it, uh, I don't know, five pixels maybe. Physics group, add bullets. And um, I guess we are gonna say, uh, just to be clear, right? We are moving two is moving the emitter, not the particles. In the example I shown, it wasn't the particle that we're moving, it was the emitter. Um, that might be the point, but okay, you know what, whatever. It's like, <laughs> I, I think we could spend like half of this other, like the other part of the stream figuring out how this the emitter works, but I just want to finish this whole thing and, you know, add one enemy, make the gun, shoot at him, collide, kill him, and I guess wrap it up here because, oh, this is taking way longer than I expected it to be. Um, okay, so we got the bullet, but we need to say, uh, can you just be like bullet alpha zero? So, and I guess we return um, what do we return actually? We don't need to return anything, right? So we're actually not gonna store any, reaching the wrong thing. So we don't, we're not gonna store any gun reference here. So it's just gonna be stuck to player. All right, let's see. Okay, uh, and if we now change the alpha to one, oh, because it's the same color. So let's use something like this. Okay, there we go, there's our bullet. And if we change alpha to zero, it's gonna be transparent, cool. We got the bullet, and once we click, we're gonna say export const shoot, right? And we're gonna say, okay, shoot. Um, so from x from y to x to y. And essentially what we need to do here is there are like a handy method in physics to just say, hey, move this thing for me. <laughs> physics, uh, arcade. So we create, what is this thing called? Physics group, uh, do, 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 do group. Do you have a method? Clear account contains get, get children, get first active, kill, play animation, set velocity. Oh boy, do I have to calculate this myself? Oh, I wanted to evade this and not do that, but okay, let's Google this. Vector from point to point. 
I guess wait a second. Calculate velocity. We want velocity, right? From points to from between two points, I guess is how you how you would search that properly. Uh, easy way to find velocity. Yes. Uh, so um, final position, initial position, final time, initial time. This is just the X. We need the two dimensional thing uh, like that. Two points. If anyone knows the formula, do let me know. Because I am absolutely terrible with geometry, as I already said more than once. A square delta x delta y. Okay, so I guess this looks magnitude. You need delta and I'm by magnitude. How are uh -huh. new velocity? Okay, what is the magnitude then? Uh, what is the delta? Their position minus enemy position. Yeah, but we are in two dimensions. Mm, the total delta between should be simply uh, magnitude. Oh, I guess you count that for each dimension, right? Oh, man. Uh, is that a, like a sinus or cosinus? Am I like overcomplicating this? Uh, okay, so we do that. So it's a square root of differences. Is the distance and S by D, okay. What is S in this case? Uh, speed okay so we basically define some sort of speed okay so calculate d which is math square root from uh, what was it again okay x minus x zero is what initial position final position okay initial position is gonna be x uh, from x right minus two initial position final yeah okay so initial minus no final minus initial right that makes more sense okay um math uh, whoops ow cut off please okay we double that i think this is how it works right uh mdn math ow what we want uh first is the base and then the exponents yep okay i am correct uh game mechanic explorer uh yeah that's the problem they like the, i know this website it is quite good but it has the phaser two examples and phaser three changed things significantly so you know uh okay uh, we, we we found some mathematics so let's <laughs> let's stick to doing mathematics 2x2 from y, okay. So we did this d thing, which is the, uh, okay. And then velocity const velocity x is gonna be, okay, we need to define some speed, right? Const speed, um, say 10, I guess 10 pixels maybe. Let's just try it by d multiply by uh what do we have to pass there x minus so we just do this 2x from x okay and then we we'll do the same for velocity y and then we we'll do from y and now we need to say physics uh, what would, physics group set uh, what was the thing set velocity okay set velocity velocity x velocity y okay and uh, the other problem is that the bullet will not disappear right so it should just uh right okay so we have the shoot and uh, we also need to say bullet alpha one in this case also have to trigger the shoot function did I actually import it no i didn't we're gonna shoot from x is gonna be player x from y is gonna be player y two x is gonna be x and i guess we can just rename those no we can Ugh. gonna stick with it two y is gonna be y okay uh duplicate shoot uh whoops okay let's call it shoot gun why not 
Okay, and in this case, this is gonna be shoot gun. <laughs> that thing moving hasn't really seemed so. Uh, so what is actually our, wait a second, console log, velocity x, velo is it actually moving or not? I cannot say velocity y. So let's see what kind of velocities do we, act whoops, no, that is the wrong page. Here's my chat. And dev tools this is what i want uh nine four yeah so it should have it should move why is it not moving anywhere physics group set will um velocity x velocity y yeah so we are setting the velocities so why is it okay maybe the speed is too little oh yeah there we go okay uh, that is also a bit, I guess we want, hmm, <laughs> literally follows the mouse now, but uh, way too slow. So in the, oh no, that was the wrong button. Okay. Well, the good thing is that we have everything saved, so it's fine. Uh, we want what? We want the gun. Uh, right. So we got this thing. So it should actually go towards the mouse, which means that the is properly so uh, it's not collide with the bounds we need bounds here we angular velocity 60 drag first of all we can reduce the drag because it's a bullet it doesn't need that much drag okay that looks better but it's a bit too slow so we can increase the speed that is still too slow um 100 there we go okay and once it reaches the coordinates uh yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, I, it's like, I know how the drag works. I'm just thinking like, what would be the best way? Once it reaches the coordinates, it should disappear, or I guess it should not disappear, but rather we should generate the new bullet every time, right? This is what actually we want. We don't actually want the bullet to be added. Do we, like, do we generate the, the physics group every time on the... Hmm. Do I want to create new bullet and new physics group? So, okay, let's try it. First of all, let's try just keeping the physics, right? So we just create a new bullet every time. Okay, start off, please. We create the new bullet. We say, uh, right, we don't need bullet alpha here. Uh, we do need the scene though here, right? You would have the pool of bullets when the bullet dies. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's all the optimization part already, right? So I just want to do this for now dirty and quick to see if that works. And then we can f optimize and do like the pool of bullets. And yes, do the dispo proper disposal and reusal of the existing uh, instances and so on and so forth. Uh, whoops, that is not the button I wanted to press. Okay, so we need this scene reference here. Yes, let's just store it. Can just say yes, scene now. Scene is gonna be scene. I guess it makes sense to global scene, rename that into global scene and global scene over here. And that actually, there we go. Okay, so we now render this. This is gonna do, <laughs> this is probably gonna be terrible in the long run because, yes, once again, it's way better idea to use the pool because this is essentially going to rely on garbage collection and uh, ultimately end up in the garbage collection pauses, which is not something you want to have in a video game. But for now it works and for now it's okay. So we got this, right? Okay, so now we need, uh, we need some enemy to shoot at. So we got, but, oh, okay. <laughs> now this is an interesting behavior. <laughs> So because we have the same physics group, actually each bullet will follow the physics from that group. So I guess we have to create the physics group uh, for each bullet individually. Okay, um, right. So, whoops, in this case, God damn it, my keyboard. Um, come on, I have to fix this key because it keeps falling out. This is not very good. Okay, um, <laughs> let me think. So we kill that, we... The eight physics group, right? First, 
Okay, so we got this. Again, this is also not very good for the same reason because it's gonna end up... Okay, but now the bullets are actually flying where they are supposed to and if I keep moving and... Uh, what? Why are they not... Eh? Okay, that's interesting. Why is my from X from Y doesn't change? Uh, hmm, it's curious. Say the least. Okay, I am very curious here. So we have this right now, right? And if I click, we got a player with X and Y 200. Okay, so this is our initial coordinate. So now we move a bit. I will click again. And okay, the X and Y are now different. So what? Why are? Why is it shooting from the same spot? Okay, um, here's the question. Okay, player X and player Y. Let's let's debug this. This working correctly. One to hundred. Cool. Yes, this is also correct. Yeah, player X, player Y gets updated. The only question is why does not. Oh, pfft. ah, because I'm an idiot, of course, because I forgot to use them here from X and from Y. It is always this simple with me. I always forget to update some tiny bit of code and then end up half a year or half a week trying to figure out why that doesn't work. There we go. Okay, so now we got shooting working. Um, it's working okay. <laughs> the velocity on the player model is. Kind of ridiculous, uh, but okay, you know what, that's fine. Okay, so let's add an enemy, I guess. Enemy JS, cool. Um, this is gonna copy player here. And we don't need a gun for now. I got, oh, God damn it, my keyboard. I really need to fix this shit. Oh no. I did a terrible thing and I spilled some cola on my keyboard and it was all like sticky and I tried to Dismantle it and accidentally tear off one of the keys. So now from time to time it just doesn't stick in there and just jumps out, which is slightly annoying, but I don't use it that much, so I guess it's okay for now. Um alright, um right, so we don't need a gun again. Uh for now, I guess yeah, we can just do this. Uh so it's gonna be um enemy, let's call it enemy. Needs physics group. Uh it doesn't care about velocity for now, so we ate enemy, right? I'm uh, gonna have the same parameters because why not? Say enemy scene add. So uh, physics group add enemy. We don't care about the gun in this case, and we're gonna kill all of that. Okay. Uh, of course, you make a game when I'm bad at recovering from. Oh no, man, get well soon. Uh, this will be on the YouTube as usual, so feel free to rewatch that. But so far, it's going pretty terrible, and uh, you know we're at the. Um, <laughs> basically, we're not that far away, you know. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Create scene. So we got to import. Uh, import. Uh, create enemy. Uh, nope. From enemy so we're gonna plug in create enemy this there we go okay and i guess we have to move it to like 300 300 or something yep that looks fine and we can make it uh, i don't know different color does that look fine yep that looks fine and maybe we can make it rectangle uh, well, that is probably not a word and that is probably not a correct signature for it so where is Rectangle, yes. How do you create one? What are the properties X, Y with? Ah, I guess you need a head, right? So like this. <laughs> Why is it rotating? <laughs> okay then. I'm. I mean, I guess it's it's fine. It's it's okay. It's totally intended. <laughs> Why? Uh, I, probably because I have angular velocity, right? Yeah, right. I probably should remove that from player as well because it's also rotating around, but we don't really need that. <laughs> All right, um, one helpful advice I can give you, I had to make an editor once, is to create a grid to show X and Y. Nah, it's okay. I mean, you know, we're not really doing anything super complex here. So now that we have the enemy, we have the player moving and we have the bullets flying. Now we have to make the collision of 
bullets and enemy, right? So let's see the examples uh, over here. So we got, uh, we need the physics, right? So there was the physics uh, examples, there was the arcade physics and we need collision. So we got collider, but now, so we got the static group, a ball frame, okay, place on rectangle. Refresh, sprite, velocity, bounce, set, collide, world bounce, gravity. Okay, the, the, where's the collision? Physics, add collider, sprite, group. Okay. So you need to know the references to both the enemy and the bullet to have the collision set up. Mm, okay, so which means player, or rather there should be some entity controlling both bullets and um, enemies, right? So we basically need something like enemy manager, I guess. I mean, globally, you would actually want to have some sort of entity manager in general that would control player enemies and so on and so forth. But for now, let's just keep it simple. And I, I mean, we could just simply pass the enemy to the uh, um, player, which I guess, you know, <laughs> With one enemy that will work, with multiple enemies that obviously is not going to work. So I uh, don't want to do it properly from the beginning, or do we just want to say, hey, screw it, let's just uh, create the collision and wrap the stream here for today at least, and see, you know, if you guys are interested in seeing more, we could expand it later. Let me think. Okay, you know what? Let's just do it in a stupid way for now with one enemy. And uh, if you guys, as I said, are interested, we could expand on it basically later. And so we can. The eight player is gonna be, so we're gonna change this a bit. We're gonna change the signature and say, okay, hey, I'm so the, the fact that Code Sandbox loses focus on hot reload is absolutely infuriating. Okay, so we're gonna scene an enemy over here and this is gonna be scene is gonna be this and enemy is gonna be enemy. Okay, we got the player. Uh, we're gonna have the reference to enemy over here and I'm just gonna store it. So it's gonna be enemy. I guess a better idea to call it like global enemy or something. We're just, we're just gonna kill one enemy in this uh, stream, right? So shoot gun from two and i guess we have to pass the enemy as well here right so because the gun or the bullets have to be aware of the enemy so we got the uh, enemy here and uh, set velocity so what was the code there um, i guess we don't really need those things anymore so physics uh physics adds what is this physics? So this physics is actually the scene reference, right? So can I use the physics group for that? Here's the question. A uh, game object. So let me see physics, arcade. We got the group and there, what was the name of it? Collider, collider. Is that a thing? No, it's not a thing here. Okay. So we have to use the scene thing. Uh, game object. No, wait, where was the physics thing? Physics, arcade, collision map, uh, matter physics. <laughs> ah, there we go. There's a collider. So I guess you can just instantiate it separately. So you need to pass in the world overlap only object one, object two, collide callback, process callback. Okay, so you can create the collider yourself. We do have the scene reference here. We now have the enemy reference, which means we can import the port phaser from uh, phaser. Right. And now, um, first of all, uh, draw the bullet, probably clean out this stuff. Oops. And um, add bullet to physics group. Uh, calculate velocity towards the point and um, I guess uh, there was this thing so here's the question we have collide world bounds right 
If I enable that, will the bullets just stop when they collide? Because we don't have any bounce set, right? Okay, so they <laughs> just slide. Right, is there a way to monitor the collision? Here's the uh, physics. Right, okay, so we got, this is the collider. Uh, what was the physics again? Physics arcade group. Uh, is there like callback for collision? Create callback handler. Uh, collision call nope okay that is slightly confusing new group world sin children config physics group config yes this is what we want okay collide world bounce uh boolean optional so what do we have here friction gravity velocity mass immovable it doesn't seem like it takes any callbacks or anything like that um all right um <laughs> yeah i mean having proper docs really helps a lot but uh, in our case we'll just have to uh suffice with this Create multi create callback what does this do a function to be called when adding or creating group members this is not what we want uh create multiple callback parent physics type remove callback run child updates methods uh no 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 maybe it adds the callback to the specific object game objects arc close path display uh mask parent have any collision related collision call factor no this is not it so maybe the game object itself game object does it seem so okay um all right is there an example of using the collider manually like mass collision test overlap collider remove collider static body so this over uh okay so it uses also i mean we could look at the source code and just see how exactly it works because that's probably the best way but <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Um this physics add over okay, you know what? Let's let's try let's just try uh doing this, right? Add collider. So group so we get the study group. Uh in our case we have the group for the bullet. Phaser actions place on rectangle, group get children, new phase okay. We need to call this because has changed the coordinates of all the children. We don't care about that. Have velocity set collision mode set gravity um what does the collider actually do let's try this so if we add this thing and say hey uh global scene right physics add collider we got enemy and we got a physics group that add yeah between a sprite and a group okay what will actually happen uh can read properties parent of undefined allied objects so i guess is it like enemy geom again do you want the geometry instead of the object itself no geom of undefined what do you mean undefined console log enemy did i not pass it uh undefined okay so it doesn't pass enemy for did i forgot to pass it enemy global enemy so global enemy is here and create player should uh, have the enemy right create enemy did i oh i don't return it return enemy there we go and it literally does nothing <laughs> okay um okay maybe because i passed geometry now so maybe we don't need geometry maybe we need to pass the enemy but bleh. hey <laughs> Not quite what I wanted to do, but uh, okay, <laughs> that works, I guess. So it passes on the velocity to it. Um, we can work with that. So we can set actually the drag to like 50. Um, and set the enemy, yes, we can set the bounce here. So let's see. Nope, that's too little. Uh, maybe I guess set the drag X and drag Y to 600. So we want the enemy to bounce a bit, but not too much. Remove the angular drag maybe. That is too much still. Why does it passes so much momentum there? 
like 600 here as well. Will that make you? S uh, no, 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 no. Yep. Um, 6,000. God damn it. Okay, yeah. So today we figured out that Code Sandbox is not exactly perfect for live coding due to all the focus losing on hot reload. There we go. Okay, so you can push the enemy a bit with the bullet. Now, um, we probably don't need Angular Drug in this case. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. So first of all, on how do you handle the collision? Add collider, so physics add collider. How do you, so this is our game, right? So we got, is it, um, is it the game? Scene, no, it's a scene, right? So this, oh boy, what is this points to? So we get this create scene and this is create function from our game. So which means that we need to create, uh, whoops, that is, there you go. Where's the create function? Destroy on focus on blur. Um, oh, this is the in the config, right? This is what we want. Game config, right? And the game config has the, 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 the physics. Oh, um, game config. Where's the create? Container create is not what I want. Oh, come on. Okay, where's my game? Game config. So, context scene seed. Um, okay. Where is this? Like, yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Great. I mean, yeah, right. We don't need that any. No, I guess we do. No, we don't need that anymore. We don't need player anymore. So now we need this uh, physics add collider. Where does this come? Collider. Last collider. I guess this is the collider, right? So you create the new one and how do you actually... Okay, time to read the source code. So we need to get the... We need to add the callback to the collider so that we know when the objects actually collide. Um, and I guess we got the phaser and I guess... Okay, so it just... We get the game. So it's a boot game. Okay. Boot uh, the game. um config so is there where is the calling create create render create dom container create, create render create dom container what do you call config the new config okay so it wraps it into config right let's have a look at the config curve create right create container no where's my create function uh, that doesn't seem right Okay, is that version three now or we'll look into version two? Here's the question. Real question. Um nope, no, 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 not contributors or this is what I want. Phaser, yes, we are version 314 and documentation is still not up. That is <laughs> slightly sad, but you know. Okay, uh hmm. let me think about that for a second. Uh you know what we can do? We can probably just say log physics right have a look what is it? arcade physics okay so it points to the arcade physics instance which means that we have phaser physics arcade arcade physics there we go and we got we triggered this add collider thing so we got odds uh, this is a factory uh, arcade factory yes and we got the collider yes Okay, and you could provide the callback uh, as the third argument, which we will do. So uh, console log bullet hit the enemy. Okay, so in theory, hey, we got the callback. Okay, cool. So what we need to do is, or I guess, does it, does it actually, yes. Uh, okay, so we don't get the collision uh, with the world, but that's okay, fine, whatever. So if the bullet uh, collides, first of all, we have to set a uh, time to live for the bullet, right? So it has to die after some time. Well, that's what I'm gonna do, set timeout. We're just gonna 
Just gonna say global scene. I'm gonna say just remove bullets. Is that is that a thing? Just do that. Uh, and we're gonna remove it after a second of lifetime. Nope. Okay, so it's not removed. Um, all right, so let's go back. We got uh, collide. No, not collider. It was what we we're looking for. Oh boy, I forgot already. We were looking at scene. Uh, yeah, so we need to actually know what the global scene is because I don't know what it references. References scene. Okay, so it's literally the scene class. Uh, scene. Where is this? No, that's not scene two D. Either can is there like a global? Yeah, there you go. Phaser scene. We got the ads and we got. Where's the remove? Or how is it called? Can you not remove thing from the scene? How do you? <laughs> Wait a second. So you can add a thing to the scene, right? So we we what what do we call exactly? We call. We call bullet physics. Uh, global scene add circle. Okay. Is that because we call add circle? So global object factory circle. Um, how do you remove things from it? Can you just like be a self remover or something? Is that how it works? Bullets, maybe, maybe that's what we want to do. Arc, uh, where's the methods? Event start proto prototype alpha visible update. Render canvas. No, that's not what we want. Scene. Oh, you can actually get the access to the scene from the uh, object. Okay, so it's the R class. Let's see, can I remove you? How do I remove you from the scene? How do I properly dispose of this thing? To to do, do, do method clear alpha clear mass destroy. There we go. Okay, cool. So you can just say. Uh, Bullet dot destroy destroy and uh, damn it. Come on. Bing, and it disappears. Cool. And then on collision, we say bullet destroy, right? Um the problem is that I don't know that probably is gonna cause issues, right? So if we destroy right now, I'm guessing after one second, no. So it it won't cause problems because I guess they have some safe uh, safe mechanisms preventing double destroying. So we don't have to care about that. Okay, and then um, we have to basically got the enemy. Uh, so what we have to do is, I mean, what we can do is we can just say enemy health 100, right? And then we say enemy health minus equal 10. So uh, I guess we could destroy the bullet first. Um, let me disable that. There we go. So we disable, we decrease the health if enemy health uh, less zero then we say or I guess less than equal to zero and we just say enemy destroy there you go okay so theoretically right now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten tada actually got the um, enemy killing thing and um uh, Okay, so this is the basics of the attacking. So now we need to make enemy, I guess, randomly move around and attack us, probably, right? Do we want to do that? Or, I mean, it's basically just the same creating the gun for an enemy, creating the random movement for him, because, you know, I don't really want to do any pathfinding or anything. Like, we don't really have any levels right now. So um, let us just uh, export some. Yeah. So that, how do I how do I export it? Um, right. Let us try to export this to GitHub. Actually, let's see. So we got uh, blah, 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 blah. No, no, not Bitwarden. BXJS. Uh, we got the. Let's just say like BXJS. 
a basic game phaser. I mean, it's not, not even a game yet, but let's see. Page not found. What do you mean page not found? How was that? Uh, Raven JS. Oh, okay. I don't care about your page not found. Please tell me you're going to export it successfully. And I won't have to do that manually. You gonna like create repository in, in, in my repositories, your repositories. Abstract. No, not yet. At least that I somehow have an impression that it only knows how to export to your personal profile, not to groups. We are gonna basic phaser game. Create repository. You work like this. Uh, hello, cyber, cyber Tema, cyber Tema. Uh, not sure how to read that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it only apparently only can create the repos in your own thing. So I'm going to go ahead and how do I move that to the group? Is that a possible uh, danger zone transfer ownership? Uh, the name of the repository to confirm so this is gonna be basic phaser game right and new owner building x uh, let me try to just copy that instead of screwing it over i understand firm okay uh yeah okay cool so we were able to transfer it without too many troubles that is a good thing Okay, well, uh, not much of a game, but you know, we made thing where you can shoot bullets and uh... <laughs> okay, I probably should adjust the velocity of my character and bounciness as well, because this is, this is slightly ridiculous, but yeah, it works. And um, obviously we need, I would say we would need a few more uh, live streams to actually make something that resembles a game, but well, yeah, game development is probably one of the most complex areas of software development. And uh, yes, I was not like I was hoping we could do a bit more. But, you know, I think that is basically um, that is going to be it for today, essentially. OK, let me think. So we need a readme. I'm going to close this and we're going to add a readme. I'm going to, as usual, copy it from the other repository because I'm lazy as hell. Meanwhile, uh, do feel free to send your questions to the chat if you have any. Um, then your suggestions or, you know, whatever. Just basically ask things in chat. I'm open to questions right now. Um, and yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to send questions, notes, anything to the description or to the comments below as usual. And uh, yeah, so this is a simple um game i'm I can't even call this a game with um phaser js uh, simple build with phaser js that has one enemy and bullets perfect perfect description on the repo run do you even have npm install here's the question it is a package json right so it's probably yeah okay so you can do npm install npm start uh yes we do it and we don't care about this part cool all right um created with code sandbox yeah that's fine uh we could probably copy this over whoops over here could remove that i don't know if it will work anymore because we actually moved the repo so i'm gonna do this and uh, we're basically done what made you choose phaser js over so many others uh well i've had experience with phaser 2 back quite some time ago or we, i think it was maybe even phaser 1 and it had really good documentation but apparently phaser 3 is um out but the phaser 3 documentation is not out yet so we had a bit of a problem here other than that, I mean, I don't know. I just picked, you know, the whatever I found. I worked with Pixie.js as well, but it's not exactly a game engine. It's more of a renderer, which works really well for different visualizations. But yeah, for no particular reason, basically. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, right. So unless you guys have any more questions, we can uh, wrap this up here and... 
I guess go play some video games. Proper ones, not like <laughs> not this stuff. Like I feel terrible about calling this a video game because this is not even close to a game. But you know what? We we did it in two hours and um it's it's fine. I think it's fine. <laughs> Thank you for watching uh so is it Sokelo? Sokelo and I'm so bad with nicks. I am so bad with usernames, it's just Apologies right away for <laughs> pronouncing it in the wrong way. Uh, all right, cool guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you for your support. And I'm gonna see you on Saturday for the JavaScript news live stream or on next week for programming something else. You know, if you have any suggestions, once again, we have the proposals repo over here at GitHub. So feel free to Submit your own issue or if you see the other issues that you think would be cool, that you would want to see me build, then uh, just go ahead and um, vote on them. So I'm using the voting system, basically whatever is voted by the reactions. And today this was a, well, game, <laughs> I guess, yeah. Kind of game, but you know, you, you know what I mean. I mean, we build the basics. You can expand on that. <laughs> but okay, guys. Have a nice evening and I see you next time. Bye.